Hello, welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is Amanda, otherwise known as the Tangle Skeins Crafter, and this is part three of my Paint Some Way haul unboxing. I'm going to show you three cross stitch kits I bought. And there'll be one more <clears throat> unboxing after this one. Alright, as usual, it comes with five needles and a poof ball, an adjustable thimble, and a needle threader. This is a little, is it a koi fish or a catfish? I almost, do koi fish have the whiskers? Anyway, little fish. All of these little kits. This one is. Called, what is this one called? This one is called just called Harry Potter. It's five dollars and sixteen cents on the site. I paid four dollars and thirteen cents with the discount. It is eleven count, forty by sixty centimeters. Has the instructions for rock cross stitch printed on the pattern. I keep forgetting to mention in all of them, but all of these. In the unboxing videos I'm doing for Paint Some Way, they're all printed on this carefree paper. I mean, you really have to try to tear this, but they all are water soluble, so try not to get them wet. Isn't that cute? I love this image. I was really disappointed when they first contacted me after I placed my order and they said that they were out of this to, and asked me to choose another one. But then when I chose something else, they were like, oh, it's okay. We're going to go and have someone else print this. So I don't know if it's a different company that printed this one or manufacturer. I'm not sure what you call them or if they just have the same one printed. So I have no idea if I'm disappointed or happy. As I said, 40 by 60. This one has my this 38 colors. It's one of those that uses a lot of the same symbols, just in different colors. Sometimes I'm really disappointed in that because sometimes it's confusing for me. It's like my brain doesn't want to distinguish between the colors. It's just seeing the shape of the symbol. But this is very clearly printed. It's not going to be hard to follow at all if I have to follow this chart. My hope is always that I don't have to refer back to the chart, that the canvas is going to be printed clear enough, but I like to have a clear chart just in case. I do see an issue. I don't know how much of an issue it's going to be, but if you look up here, the grid is printed clearly. So there's lines going up and down and lines going across so you can tell where each square is going to be. Then as you get to the right and down, it starts losing some of the lines across. I'm assuming this is a problem with their printer, maybe running out of a certain color of ink, the white or whatever color they use. But I don't know how their printers work, so... I'm not going to swear by that, but if you look over here, it loses the lines across and the lines up and down. So by the time we get here, there are no lines to differentiate the squares. Like I said, this shouldn't be an issue unless I have to refer back to this pattern and then it's going to be more difficult but if it gets to that point I'll just contact the company and ask them to send me a PDF or another printed copy. I'm a little disappointed in that though. Let's look at the canvas. It's a really thick canvas. 
kind of stiff but not too bad I've had stiffer but it's really thick surged all the way around which is another thing I always forget to mention looks like everything is printed clearly everything's in its appropriate square I feel good looking at the canvas I should not have to refer back to that chart because this is printed so clearly and everything's in its square like it should be so it's not going to be an issue as you can see there is some confetti a little bit enough variation to keep it interesting but big blocks of color I expected that because of I mean you know his robe the background there's not a whole lot of colors going on in there even the owl itself is just shades of color it looks like there's enough on the canvas that the details going to come out in 38 colors should be enough I will start this soon I'm really looking forward to doing this one what is the blue 939 so the background is the really dark like navy blue Green is 310. So just parts of his rope. So there's not a huge amount of black, so that's good. But there's gonna be a lot of dark blue. I think I'm gonna enjoy stitching this. Like I said, I will be starting this one soon. So hopefully I can tell you soon. Let's look at the floss. Okay, this comes on floss drops. If you know me by now, you know that I actually really like floss drops. I find them easier to handle. I separate these and I put them on um, the binder clip, the binder rings, I mean. And I separate them usually so many per ring, so it's a lot easier for me to find the number I'm looking for. But you could also write the symbol if you wanted to on these before you put them on a ring but I like to just look for the number I have them in numerical order when I put them on the rings and then like I said by like say 400 to 800 families will be on one ring look at these pretty colors oh, that is not coming out right this is like a pretty teal but like the greeny till not the deep blue till that's showing up on my screen but it's still showing up really pretty look at this 939 since there's quite a bit of it yeah so there's the 939 it's a lot of the dark navy blue maybe if I back off the camera a little bit you'll be able to see it better 823 I had a feeling that's what that was it's like a still a dark blue but like a lighter than 939 just a good amount of that so yeah there's a lot of darks a lot of dark blues oops took them out of the rubber band that's okay then here's the lighter colors except for the one thing of black or wait is there two yeah there's two little things of black but they're small amounts really light minty blue if that makes sense that looks like a really pale blue that's showing up blur in the camera greens that's like a mauve pinks, reds, blues, grayish greens, greens, grayish purple. Not even sure what color that would be. 
154. I'm getting like addicted to 154. I have it in a lot of my cross stitch and a lot of my diamond paintings and I don't know, I'm just starting to really like that color. Look at all these pretty colors. I really look forward to working on this one. Plus, Harry Potter, I mean, if you know me by now, then you know how much I love Harry Potter. If this is your first video you've seen of mine, I love Harry Potter. Every Christmas and sometimes my birthdays, my family gets me something Harry Potter related. My best friend got me a Harry Potter one from, wand from uh, what is it, like Universal Studios or something? The Wizarding World. Okay, let's put this one up. But yeah. And if you saw my previous video, I got two bookmarks that were Harry Potter inspired. Alright, next is another obsession of mine. Studio Ghibli. Which I know that's not how you actually say it, but I'm American, so that's how I say it. I've heard Studio Ghibli and Studio Ghibli here, but I looked up the actual pronunciation. It was uh, not either of those. trying to show the stickers in case people want to use the codes to help them find them on the site. If I did not already say, which I'm pretty sure these are all from Paint Some Way. This is not a collaboration. I bought all of these. This is my, did I say third video? There'll be one more after. Alright, we have another of the little fish. I love these little bags. Alright, we got the poof ball with the one, two, three, four, five needles, and adjustable thimble, and the needle threader. I never use the adjustable thimbles, but I use the heck out of these needle threaders. It is Kiki. I don't know if you've ever seen Kiki, but there's Kiki and Gigi. And this is one of my favorite animations from Studio Ghibli. And this one, make sure I have the right one. This one just says Anime Girl. It's 11 count, 50 by 72 centimeters, 191 by 286 stitches. I forgot to say what the other one was. And it is listed as $13.99 on their site. I paid $11.19. Because I know I keep saying it, but if you buy a certain amount, then you get a percentage off. Currently, it's buy one, save 8%. Um, let's see if I can find it. I'm on their site right now, so let me look. Pop up for me. It's not popping up for me. Right now, their special offer is spend $30, get a free um, blind box. Or this one actually just says one free gift, but it was a blind box whenever I ordered. Uh, yes, buy one item, save 8%. Buy five items, save 15%. Buy 10 items and save 20%. All right, it's got a good size picture printed on the chart. And then it has the helpful instructions printed. Maybe... All of them are going to be like this, but this also has the area where there is no lines. Yet the other has lines. I think I'm going to email them and ask them about that because that can get confusing for people. Right, this one, wow, I did not know, but this one has 50 colors. That's exciting. The more colors, the better it looks. Fifty colors. I'm so happy. Cause I feel like with this image you need more colors for it to really get that detail. So I'm always hesitant to order anything with a lot of detail because I'm always afraid there's not gonna be enough colors to do it justice. All right. 
right, let's look at the canvas. 11 count, 50 by 72 centimeters, 191 by 286 stitches. It's got a little thumbnail of the picture, but you know, obviously it's not going to show much detail. It's got the 50 colors printed on the side. Ah, it's almost too big. They're printed big enough and clear enough that you can use the legend on here, but I often use the legend on the printed pattern whenever I'm looking to see what colors I need. So again, it's got all the same shapes but different colors for the symbols, but they are printed clearly. So it definitely should not be a problem. Look at all the variety of symbols in there. It's going to be a little confetti heavy, but I think the result is definitely going to be worth it. There's Gigi hanging off the broom. And there's Kiki. Probably yelling at him, TG, get down. I enjoy this this anime so much. And I am love with, in love with this image. So I really look forward to stitching on this. Like I said, it is pretty clear enough. I do not think I'm gonna have any issues. with the symbols getting any of them confused. I mean, it's possible. I don't think so. I was like, it's possible I might, like if I'm not paying attention, get some of the, the diagonal little arrows confused with some of the X's and stuff, but I don't think so. The lines are thicker for the X's and the pluses. Yeah, I think I'm going to enjoy working on this one also. Let's look at the flaws. Look at that gorgeousness. Without even unrolling this mound of thread here, I can already tell that the colors are just stunning. Where is this purple thread coming from? I'm going to have to find where that goes and stick it back on there. Can you see these colors? They are gorgeous. Can you see this almost neon orange? Oh, this camera is not doing it justice. It's like burn your eyes out orange. Then here's a really deep orange. Not quite a rust, but a deep pumpkin orange. Oh, it's turned out more red on, on my camera, on my screen. Beautiful purple. Once again, turning out more blue on the screen. Deep hunter green. Deep, almost, almost burgundy, almost marine. More like a, not quite a brick red. I'm not sure what color that would be, but it's turning out more vibrant on my screen than what it is in real life. It's more of a deep reddish color. Have some greens and some mints. What is it, aquamarine? Someday I'm going to get the colors right on my webcam so you can appreciate the beauty that are these flosses. Look at this gorgeousness. The 
colors are a little more vibrant on my screen. They are more muted, but still deep and vibrant. Like a deep vibrant instead of a vi bright vibrant. Does that make sense? Yeah. I would absolutely love this project. And it's going to take me a while. It's a pretty good sized project. Alright, one more for this video. This one I'm kind of concerned about based on just the little bit of image I'm seeing. The image is blurry, so hopefully the project is not. This is another Kiki. This one looks like maybe she's cuddling Gigi. She's in like a little book nook looking area underneath some stairs. It's a little rabbit. It's really pretty also. I just don't know it's going to turn out really well. Um, this one is because the picture on the site is really pretty and clear. This one says Witches Delivery Service. 11 count, 50 by 68. It's listed as $12.99. I paid $10.39. Has the image. Has instructions for cross stitch. On the tear proof or harder to tear anyway, paper. Okay. This one has 44 colors. So, not as little as I was scared of they were going to be. That's not even proper grammar, but you know what I mean. This one is obviously from a different printer, manufacturer, whatever you call it, because it's got a lot of different symbols than the last few I've looked at. Looks like some blocks of color. So it kind of looks like maybe some of the more kind of background is going to be not as detailed, but then when you get to her and the books and everything, it's going to be a little more detailed. Kind of background, foreground, even though it's not exactly how the picture looks. We will see how this turns out. Um, looks like the pattern is printed clearly. I'm going to fold this so it's easier to maneuver. Symbols are printed clearly. I don't think there's any that I'm going to confuse for any other ones. See with these a lot of times I don't know until I actually start stitching. But just looking at the pattern it looks pretty easy to tell the difference between all the symbols. So I'm happy with the pattern. Let's look at oh, another fishy. So the poop ball, the five needles, the needle threader, and the adjustable thimble. Let's look at the canvas. It's a glittery canvas. see the sparkle. Kind of interesting that I've been getting glittery canvases of both cross stitch and diamond painting lately. I don't know why people decide to put glitter on them, especially full coverage like this, but oh, maybe it will enhance. Here's the thumbnail. Can't really make any details. The legend is printed nice and large. 
very easy to see the symbols and the numbers. Surged all the way around and did not surge through the DMC codes. The canvas is kind of stiff, but that's good for whenever you're wanting to not stitch in a hoop or anything. 11 count. Fifty by sixty-eight, and then one hundred ninety-one stitches by two hundred sixty-nine stitches. I like the uh, the lighter colors they use. The kind of pastels. I feel like it just makes it easier for me to see where I'm stitching. Everything looks like it is in its appropriate square, clearly printed, easily discernible. I think this will be easy to see, maybe not the easiest to stitch because there are so many colors. The other one's even more colors though, but you know, a lot of confetti, but also lots of blocks of color. We will see how this turns out. I might start her in the middle or start actually her to see how the detail is going to come out. We will see. You can see her legs. I was just kind of worried because of the lack of detail in the background. There should be like leaves and stuff, but, and then the stairs, it's going to be mostly one color. Sorry for the weird angle. But as long as her and the books and everything, if those show up clearly or at least semi-detailed, then I think this will be worth stitching on. So my goal in getting some of these is so I can frame them and hang them on my wall. So I want the detail. I'm not doing these just for the fun of stitching, even though I do enjoy stitching. moving around things. All right, let's look at the floss. Happy that these have all been coming on floss drops. I keep telling myself to show you all the codes and I keep forgetting. This one has lots of bright colors. Look at that. Not quite burn your eyes out, but close. Purples, lilacs, peachy colors, off whites, yellows, grays. I think it's a gray. It's almost like a light purple with gray. Once again, my camera is not picking up the color. Or at least not on my monitor. Like purple, blue, brown. That lovely, lovely dark teal or dark aquamarine. I still cannot remember what the difference is between those two colors. But it's just not doing it justice. It makes me think of like a deep tropical, like the water off a tropical beach. Dark blue, deep blue, bluish, tealish. It's like a really deep, is that like a gray? It almost looks like a dark gray green to my eyes. Yellow, browns, greens, oranges, blues, more greens, more purple. Look at all these colors. It's a rainbow of colors. Nice and soft. Sticking all my hangnails. rainbow of colors. I'm going to enjoy working on this. So 
so what do you think of my projects I picked? Like I said, this was not a collaboration. This was just stuff I really wanted and been having maybe not the best start of my year. So this was kind of like my pick me up. Just looking at them makes me happy. Another one. So those are the three that I am unboxing for you today. Are there any that you like? Is there any that you've done? Is there any that you would do? Do you think the prices are reasonable? What I say, 13 for the one where she's sitting by the books, 14 for the one where Gigi's hanging off the broom, and five dollars and sixteen cents for the Harry Potter with the owl. I feel like that's reasonable. You know that is paintsomeway.com. They're always having some kind of sell so go check them out and stay tuned for my final part of my Paint Some Way haul unboxing. Thank you. Bye-bye.